So in last uh, session of hepatitis viruses 2, we have uh, taken a glimpse of morphology of all the hepatitis viruses. Now we are going to uh, talk about in detail in this session about uh, detailed morphology of hepatitis B virus. Now we know that hepatitis B virus uh, it is a partially double-stranded DNA virus. It is uh, envelope virus. Uh, it is spherical and approximately 42 nanometer in size. Now. If we want to classify the antigens which are present in hepatitis B virus, uh, the first and foremost is the envelope antigen, which uh, famously it is known as hepatitis B surface antigen. Some people also call it as Australian antigen. Then there are two core antigens. First is a non-soluble core antigen, which is known as hepatitis B uh, core antigen or HBC antigen. And another one is a soluble core antigen, which is known as hepatitis B E antigen. Then you have a nuclear antigen in form of DNA polymerase. Now the DNA polymerase which is there in this uh, virus, it is attached to the positive DNA strain. Now we know that it is a partially double-stranded DNA virus. So the complete strand um, is the minus strand and the incomplete or partial strand DNA strand is also known as uh, the plus strand. So the DNA polymerase enzyme is attached with the plus strand. Now this DNA polymerase has two functions. It acts as a DNA polymerase as well as it also acts as a reverse transcriptase. So there are basically these uh, four main kinds of antigens are there. Now the main antigen uh, is this hepatitis B surface antigen or envelope antigen or Australian antigen. When you see them under electron microscope, you can find that it is uh, the, in the free form, it is available as a 22 nanometer particle, which is spherical, or sometimes it is seen as a filamentous particle also. But when you see them uh, in virion as a whole structure, it, is, it appears as a double walled spherical 42 nanometer particle. And this is known as a Dane particle. Now to get you a more clear view that this is your spherical particle, this is the, the filamentous particle and this is the 42 nanometer uh, Dan particle. Here other structures are shown. This is the icosahedral symmetry, this is the partially double-stranded DNA genome and this is the hepatitis B surface antigen. Now if you closely look at this, you also found that this hepatitis B surface antigen is actually made up of three kind of protein. The small surface protein, you can see medium surface protein and the large surface protein. Right. Now this uh, hepatitis B surface antigen, uh, it has uh, mainly three types of antigenic component and one component is uh, predominant and it is shared by all the types uh, of this uh, hepatitis B surface antigen and that as you can see in the slide it is uh, the A component. Now the rest of the two components, it could be either D or it could be either Y. Okay, so it, you have to choose between either D or Y. And the third component you have to choose between a W and the R component. So we have these uh, four combinations of hepatitis B surface antigen, which could be seen in hepatitis B virus. We have either ADW or ADR, or we have either AYW or AYR. Now this ADW uh, type of hepatitis B surface antigen, um, these viruses, hepatitis B viruses are common in southern and eastern portion of India as well as it is also found very commonly in Europe, Australia and America. Well this AYW component is very uh, common or AYW type of hepatitis B surface antigen is very common in northern and western part of India as well as the West Asian region. Now, when we are talking about morphology of hepatitis B virus, uh, we have to look at the hepatitis B virus genome. And as we know, it is partially double-stranded DNA. And I've already told you that incomplete DNA strand is also known as plus strand. And to the strand, the DNA polymerase is attached. The complete strand is also known as minus strand or negative strand. Now, both of these strand, uh, they harbor the four overlapping genes. Now what are those genes? Uh, there are four genes, S gene, C gene, P gene and X gene. 
and on these genes there are different coding regions for example on S gene there are three main coding regions pre S1 pre S2 and S now if only S region is coded it will uh, give rise to uh, S protein which is usually found in circulation if pre S2 and S genes are coded it will form a M protein which is again found in circulation but if entire uh, gene uh, that means all the three coding regions if they are uh, coded it will form the L protein or what we know as the hepatitis B surface antigen so S gene stands for surface antigen coding now if we talk about C gene now C gene has uh, two coding regions pre C and C so if only C is coded it gives rise to the non-soluble HBC antigen which is never found in circulation because it is non-soluble and pre C and C if both are coded it will give rise to a soluble HBE antigen why because this pre C all, uh, uh, forms a signal protein which help in secretion or uh, solubility of this hepatitis B antigen P gene which is actually the largest gene stands for the DNA polymerase and it has only one coding region that is P and it codes for obviously DNA polymerase with reverse transcriptase action the X gene has only one coding region that is X and it codes for HBX antigen now this HBX antigen it plays a role in uh, activation of viral and host gene uh, which ultimately leads to increased replication of virus now to further simplify this like let us look at this uh, diagram so this diagram shows a schematic of partially double stranded DNA now as you can see that incomplete strand is plus the complete strand is the minus strand and both of this strand carry the uh, four overlapping gene now starting with S it has three pre S1 S2 and S then we have C gene pre C and C then we have the largest gene that is shown in blue color that is a P and then we have the X gene now sometimes this uh, coding region uh, in these genes get mutated and that will lead to abnormal uh, antigenic uh, structures so if pre C uh, region is uh, the mutation target then we get the pre core mutant okay and which does not have any uh, normally coded hepatitis B E antigen and it is usually found in person who are suffering from very severe chronic hepatitis uh, usually in Mediterranean countries and when you do laboratory investigation uh, the because we always look for the uh, hepatitis B virus which is having non mutated hepatitis B E antigen so that will come negative same way if uh, as uh, coding region gets mutated we have a mutant hepatitis B surface antigen this is very common to uh, infants who are born to HBEAG positive mother or liver transplant recipients now what is the significance of this because the vaccine that we give against hepatitis B virus it is actually the subunit vaccine it is a recombinant vaccine having only hepatitis B surface antigen so the antibody which are produced in our body are only targeted for the non mutated hepatitis B surface antigen so even if you are vaccinated uh, the vaccine induced antibody or passively given immunoglobulin will fail to neutralize this mutant uh, hepatitis B surface antigen having said that let us look at the, some of the questions which has been asked uh, from this section of this topic that uh, reverse transcriptase of hepatitis B virus is coded on following gene now we know that reverse transcriptase is basically DNA polymerase and polymerase stands for P gene very good in next section uh, we will look at in more detail about replication of hepatitis b viruses